Hi Kai, so um, this is just kind of a little update of what I'm going to be doing on the channel. Um, so I have this problem with going to the grocery store like all the time and everything is full. Like our deep freeze is full, our fridge is full, our cupboards are full, our pantry is full. And we're going to the States in April and uh, we want to get some stuff over down there. Well, we don't have any room for it. So what are we going to do? Well, I don't want to throw stuff out. I feel like there's enough starving people in the world that I don't want to throw stuff out. Um, stuff that I'm not going to eat, period, I would give to the food bank. But there's a lot of stuff up there that we're just not eating that we can eat. So um, I was inspired by a local YouTuber, um, called Adventures in Grocery Land and she lives not that far from me and um, what she's doing and I just saw this on Facebook the other day I've never seen her channel beforehand she's not doing Weight Watchers or anything like that but she is living on a budget and she is spending um, $23 a week to feed her and her husband 80% of the time, but her 100% of the time. Um, so Rhonda and I talked about it and what we're gonna do is we're going to use up the stuff that we have and we do want to be able to buy like more produce and stuff like that. And um, so we're gonna limit ourselves to $50 a week between the two of us. Um, probably until we go down to the States or at least for a month just to try it and see what we can do. <clears throat> so from here on out, the grocery hauls and the um, what I eat in a day are going to reflect this change that we're making um, of us kind of eating on a budget. So I mean like like I said, we have a ton of food. People who are really eating on a budget wouldn't have access to the amount of food that we have in the house. But we're trying to use what we have, use our money more wisely, and use the resources that we've been provided more wisely, like the food that we have, instead of getting rid of it after it expires for however long, um, discarding it. It's, it's wasteful and <clears throat> I don't feel good about that. So I'm going to give you a glimpse into what we've got going on here. So you can see some of the things that we're going to be using. So here is the fridge. And as you can see, the fridge is very full. Some of this is going to end up in the garbage, but a lot of it's not. A lot of it is going to get eaten. Um, so we do have some produce in there and there's like hummus, some cashew milk, um, we have eggs, so there's two cartons of eggs up there, but they're, um, yeah, we don't want to live like this anymore, so we're going to eat some of that. Our freezer is full, so we've got some uh things up there that we want to eat um bagels and veggies there's hot dogs and sausages and bacon some of it we're not going to eat like when i was doing carnivore i bought this pork belly i'm probably not going to eat that because the points are just going to be like atrociously high but um most of the stuff we're going to want to make use out of here is our oil and sauce cupboard and like salt and everything. We have some barbecue sauces, all of our sprays, which we are going to have to buy some soon. Um, we got oils and hot sauces and stuff back there. This is on our counter, so this is mostly what I would eat. Um, these are sides for Rhonda and these are sugar-free that we have from time to time. But this is my main staple and that's all we have left. So when I go to replace those chickpea noodles, they're going to be <clears throat> in that $50 budget that we have. So. so up here we have like um, some rice, some sauce. Those are banana peppers. Um, we have tomatoes, some soups. That's a sweet and sour sauce. Um, we have soups and tuna and veggies down here. 
um, some peanut butters and our powder, some beans. This is a bag of sh a box thing of sugar-free candy that we're barely touching because it doesn't really fit into our point system anymore. <clears throat> and here is our pantry. So, um, all of our snacky things are down here. These are, um, these were on sale for like a dollar ninety-nine, and they're regular like four or five bucks. So we bought a bunch of bags of those that we've got to eat up. Um, some nuts and seeds are in there. Um, we've got some bread and pitas, popcorn, some granolas, protein powders, tea. Uh, these are my skinny syrups here and there's lots left. So before I buy any more, I got to use the ones that I have. Um, <clears throat> and then we have some oats, some popcorn. We have two containers of this when we get low on our cashew milk, so that'll be great. And some cat food. Uh, that was a keto cake, but it's not anymore. It's for my, uh, it's little pumps for my <clears throat> skinny syrups. And these are crisp breads. Okay, but this thing is the mother load. So we bought this <clears throat> and it is full. So how big that is, I don't know, like five cubic feet or something, or I don't know what the measurements are, but anyway, it's not the smallest one. We have desserts in here, sugar-free ice cream, our frozen things, lots and lots and lots and lots of meat. So we probably won't have to buy too much meat um, <clears throat> going into this, but our goal is to have this freezer almost empty by the time we go away in April because we're bringing back a bunch of like um, low calorie uh, breads and hot dog buns and stuff like that and there's a few frozen things I like bringing back we can't bring back a lot of frozen stuff because it is a long drive but I I do bring back a few things and thaw it out and rethaw a uh, refreeze it when I get it home and uh, all that kind of stuff but these are some low calorie keto desserts yeah, like egg rolls, there's just, I mean, it's packed full. So, <clears throat> so, um, I hope you're kind of interested in watching us kind of go through the food that we have and eating on a budget while still maintaining our Weight Watchers lifestyle, um, eating healthy foods, good foods with lots of produce because most of our money is probably going to go to produce and stuff like that, fresh stuff. Um, and yeah, so things are going to be a little bit different around here over the next, um, over the next month or so. You may not even realize it as much as we do, but, um, I just wanted to share that with you and, uh, we'll see you guys soon. Um, just a little, um, appendix or whatever to this, uh, video. I forgot to tell you that we have three meals planned out already so this Sunday today is Friday so on Sunday we had planned to go get lunch at um, <clears throat> a local and I might do a what I eat in a day video that day so you might see it but anyway we're gonna go get lunch there and then the following weekend we are going to stay in the city for a night we're staying for free at my grandmother's house um, and we are gonna go out for sushi one day and the for lunch on the way home and then the evening before that the night that we're staying in the city we're taking my mom out for a uh, supper of some kind or lunch or something like that so three meals are planned out but the rest of the meals are going to be home and within our budget so <laughs> 